It's your boy Kells. I do my first blog. People hating on me so much. I can't do no blog. But um, I'm going to still do it. All right, my first subject is about relationships. All right. First of all, let me let me explain something to you how relationships work or, or how they're supposed to work first for you even get into all that. Now, most people think that a relationship is supposed to be about love. Like, I love you, you love me, and oh, love is just the best thing, and nothing matters because we're going to do love. Okay. That's how we want it to go. But let me tell you how it's supposed to go. Now, when you take the word relationship, the key word in that whole joint is relate. Now, some people say, well, what you mean by relate? Well, relate means just what it means. It's how you relate. It's like how two different things interact with each other. So, so how you relate is the basis of a relationship. All right. So now we cleared that up. Now let's go back to the love thing. Now, a lot of people say, well, I love this, I love that. But first you have to ask yourself, well, first of all, what is love? Now, people are gonna say love means a whole different, whole bunch of different things. Love means, oh, we cool, we get along, I like how this does, I like how this do, but, 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 let's get down to the basics, man. See, on my blog, man, we deal with the truth. We don't sugarcoat nothing, we don't make nothing up, we ain't enhancing, we ain't on nobody's side, man. We just, you know what I'm saying? All right. Now, where most people love starts in their mind. Like, you, you set the bar of what love is. Like, for you, love might be like, yo, like, I love when, like, people do stuff for me, buy me stuff. Versus, on the other side, you may have somebody that be like, well, I love to buy people stuff. Not me now, I'm saying, I don't do that. But I'm just, I'm just playing, but, but I don't do that. But, so you set the ball on what your love is, and it's in your mind. So, most people, what they do, so when they seek for something or seek for love, they look for what they perceive in their mind. So if I say like, well, yo, all right, well, what would make me happy is, oh, I want this type of person with this type of status and I want them to treat me a certain way and be a certain way. Oh, man, that would make me so happy. I would love that. That would be true love. I would just be happy. So they go and they look for that person. But what they forget is they made this up in their mind. You know, it's not a real person like that. So when they meet somebody, they try to make that person what, the, what they made in their mind and it don't work out because the person is their own person. They're not what you made in your mind. You know what I'm saying? So then you'd be like, oh, well that person or this situation didn't match up to what I had equivalented in my mind. So that's not, so it must not, be love or the love for me he don't love me she don't love me it don't love me so it's not right for me let me go somewhere else and seek this mystical love that I developed in my mind and you take that love and that's what you base your relationship on now remember that word we put on the side before relate so ask yourself well what does in my mind love have to do with relating? I'm gonna give you a second. Let me help you out. Nothing. Now some people say, well, yo, you've been talking like four minutes, but what but what does this have to do with what what does this have to do with relationships and, and 
Let me tell you. Now put the love pack on the side. Let's go to relate. Now, if you go through like history and stuff, you'll see like for more than less, all the great relationships and, you know, interactions, power moves and stuff like that have never really been based on love. It's been, it's, 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 it's all been based on relating through relationships. Like, like not even, not even 50 years ago, what, 50, 60 years ago. So I'm not talking about like, you know, 13 BC or back in the days. I'm talking about like back in like my grandparents' days, because grandparents today is like 25 or something. I, I don't know what's wrong with grandparents, but anyway. Um, even back in those days, not long ago, so I'm not talking about a long time ago, you didn't just go and just say, oh, well, they go Betty. Yo, Betty look dope. Me and Betty going to get together. Now, you may say that or may have said that in your mind, but the normal practice wasn't, you know, you just, just, yo, hi, Betty, I'm Sam, and yo, let's go to the movies, and we're going to kick it, we're going to do love. It didn't work like that. Like, first of all, you had to be respectful. So you couldn't just go up to Betty and be like, woo, 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 woo. You had to go through Betty's parents. Her parents had to meet your parents. They had to like each other. And sometimes you would get into a situation where you might like Betty, and Betty might like you. Y'all doing love. But, but... Betty's father may may not like you. He may like Ralph over there and be like, well, you know, and and back then they wasn't like punks. Oh. That, well, oh, I can't say punks because people get offended. Well, just, sorry to all the I, I, I mean punks and stuff. I'm not talking about you. I'm just using you know, slang, but I find better words. They wouldn't be scared. Then, then, then they would come to you and be like, well, Jimmy, you're a good guy and everything, and I got nothing against you, but um, my daughter's going to marry Ralph because Ralph has a, uh, Ralph family got a business, and he's more better suited, and I know he could take it. But don't get me wrong. It wasn't because they was hating on you. They just wanted what's best. See, things wasn't like it is now that, that, that now, like, you raise your kids, and then they get grown, move out, get married, have a family, and then call you and ask you to take care of them and their family. Right? But that's why they did it though, because they wanted to make sure that 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 their children was going to be secure, that, you, that their daughter wouldn't be calling them for no rent money and all the stories, Sal lost his job or he tripping over yada yada. So, so, so they, they, they took time to invest in the background of their relationships. So 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 relationships back then was formed more like business meetings. Like if you rich, you don't form a business a uh, partnership with a company that's broke. That's not a power move. You know what I'm saying? Like Jay Z and Beyonce. That's a power move they put together. That's not you wouldn't see like Jay Z marrying Shakita from Brooklyn that ain't a power move that's a power move for Shakita but you know what I'm saying so same thing so so when you f look to form relationships I mean love is good it helps if you actually like the person of course but if you if you looking to make a power move then you gotta have power relationships you know what I'm saying? So, so now I'm not saying listen to this and then go home and tell your significant other, well, you're not a powerful re relater, so I'm quitting you. I'm not saying to do that. I'm saying you should show him this tape, him or her this, and then y'all both can step your game up and become a powerful relating relationship. And I promise you, if you try that, you'll like that a whole lot better than love. All right? One.